Hello and welcome to the Hella Academy. In this video, we would like to look specifically at two special features when it comes to the exchanging of the NOx sensor. Firstly, quite clearly, how do I actually find the right spare part? And secondly, is there anything else to consider after installing the NOx sensor? Let's take a look at the vehicle as an example. Well, what I can say is, on our vehicle, the engine control light also lights up, and beforehand, we read out the fault memory with the diagnostic device as it was displayed. Knock sensor 2. That is the sensor after the catalyzer appears to be faulty. To rule out other causes, we have already checked the plug connection, the power supply, and also the signal line. Everything is fine so far. We can now take care of the sensor. Now we come to a very important point namely the correct spare part identification. Such a NOx sensor has its own control unit with a corresponding software version and a clear assignment of the spare part number is crucial so that in the end everything works perfectly in the vehicle. What do we actually need for the partial research? Clearly, vehicle information from the vehicle registration document and the old defective sensor as a reference for the part number. Of course, we have already expanded it in advance. Our technician has already opened the Hella trade catalog, and using the vehicle data from the vehicle registration document, the vehicle has already been selected. Now we can enter the desired product directly into the search and select it with one click. Two articles are now displayed for this vehicle. However, it can also happen that several sensors are displayed due to numerous replacement chains in the OE part numbers. To determine the correct sensor, we now compare the part number of the removed sensor with the vehicle manufacturer's catalog reference numbers. And, as we can see, a sensor can be clearly assigned. And, does that fit? Yes, that looks good. So, now that we have selected the right spare part and got it from the warehouse, our fitter has in the meantime installed the NOx sensor. It is of course important to mention that we take a look at the installation instructions before installation and compare the old sensor with the new one. Now the question arises, is there actually more to consider? So that everything works properly after replacing the NOx sensor, a SCN coding must be carried out on our vehicle according to the manufacturer. This coding recognizes the control unit software and the coding, and adapts it to the respective vehicle. This is the only way to ensure secure communication with other control units in the vehicle. This customization can be carried out online using Max Remote Services. And let's take a closer look at how this works. Our technician is in the process of connecting the Max Remote device to the vehicle via the OBD interface. The application can now be started and the desired remote device selected. Switching on the ignition automatically reads out the chassis number. Then, select the right vehicle model. In the menu item now listed, we will find many services for our selected vehicle. Important for us. Online module coding. We select these once. Now confirm the order and the ticket will be created. If you have selected the wrong service, no problem at all. The remote service technician recognizes this and will point it out to us. Only what is necessary is carried out and invoiced. The chat window will now open. As soon as a technician has accepted the ticket, the dialogue begins. A charger has already been connected to support the onboard voltage. Okay. 
Based on his experience, the service technician asks whether there is still an add blue warning message. This message can occur in connection with NOx sensor errors and is also reset via remote services. The desired services must then be confirmed in writing. All necessary diagnostic and coding processes are now carried out online by the service technician. Read out and delete fault memory. Carry out coding. Reset NOx sensor, learn values. Query the error memory. And of course, reset the root. The workshop technician must be available during the entire performance of the service on the vehicle and for the dialogue with the remote expert. If necessary, operations such as switching the ignition on and off must be carried out on the vehicle. So, the technician is ready. Coding and resetting were successful. A functional test is now carried out on the vehicle. And, of course, everything is fine. Once the service has been carried out, the ticket is closed. So now we have seen how important the coding is for the NOx sensor to function properly. If coding and resetting is not carried out, communication and system errors cannot be ruled out. I have one more piece of information for you regarding the error message. Travel distance limited due to the fault. If the driver now ignores this error message and continues driving anyway, this can lead to the vehicle not starting the next time that starting is attempted. Of course, we don't want it to come to that. I hope you enjoyed this article. Thank you very much for your attention and see you next time here at the Hella Academy.